I'm joined now here in Algeria with Mr. Mohamed Kedan. He's the president of Insala Gas. Now, Mohamed, thank you so much for taking the time. A lot going on, of course, the last few days here, and particularly in Algiers. This must be very important for you. Yes, of course, as you know, uh, Algeria has been the first country in Africa and among the first countries in the world to accept this technology and to test it on its uh, soil by the support of uh, Sonatrack, the national oil company, and uh, our partners from uh, BP also, the this oil British company, and from Statoil. Uh, we are uh, leading this uh, technology that uh, we believe it is an important way or an important option to reduce the emission of CO2 to the atmosphere. So I think the, having this uh, forum here and uh, you know, gathering all those people, especialists from the uh, oil industry here, is important for Algeria and uh, allowed us to share the, our experience and the other experiences in the world. Now, this, of course, is the second symposium that the International Energy Forum and the Global CCS Institute have put on. Yes. Do you find bringing, as you said, together all of these people from around the world in different positions, I mean, different organizations, oil companies, um, government representatives, all of that, to share that knowledge, this is the thing that has to go on more and more. You have to see more of this. I think uh, it has to go more and more and the reason for that, as you know, any new technology or any new thing that you present to people is, you know, people are reluctant and you need to, to, to gather the, the specialist to, for a sensibilization action. Uh, you know, uh, people cannot accept easily any new technology that come and you have to convince them and the only way to convince them is to share the successful uh, uh, experiences that happen worldwide and among them this experience we have in Isala. Do you think that if people know more about it, it's one of the key issues facing the industry is perhaps public awareness? Yes, of course. Yeah. I think uh, if people knows more, if people know more about not only this technology, but any new technology, this is important to, you know, to have the support from all the organizations, including the uh, governmental organizations uh, to support. And of course the climate change and the environment is now very much on the head of everybody's agenda and good to see it happening here in a country like Algeria. So for the region and for emerging economies, developing countries, you're very much leading the way. Yeah, of course, and as you may know, we have no obligation to, to you know, to read to be part of the countries who should be involved in those, uh, reduction of those emissions. But uh, Algeria is uh, one of the countries, as you know, in which the desert is a big part of its, uh, you know, of the, the country. And it's important for us, as least, to initiate those actions and to show that the desertification of the world is, uh, is, is a major issue. And uh, we think by doing that, we make uh, an important step to show to the international community the way to follow. And in the, la in the few years since nine, uh, 2004, since you were operational, are you pleased with the results? Yeah, we are very pleased. Uh, we show that uh, this is a feasible uh, option. It is economically not very expensive and uh, you know, technically not very difficult to implement. So everybody should be really looking at this and maybe following uh, your lead. Yeah, I think so. This is one of the options. I don't say that this is the only option, but this is one of the important major options to follow. Yeah. Super. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. the time, Ahmed.